Hey guys, I'm Comedy Turtle, and you are watching Turtle Time. Today's topic is furry vocabulary, also known as furry slang. You might be wondering, why do furries have slang? I'd like to ask you, why does any talk group have words or phrases that they say more often than others? Now, a lot of our phrases have words that can be translated to everyday topics. Others are very specific to our fandom. And some are 18 plus. Those will not be covered in my video as I try to have a family friendly channel. That being said, this is not an all exclusive list. So if I missed some family friendly words, please leave them in the comments below. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Let's start with the basics of the basics. Furries are fans of anthropomorphic art. Anthropomorphic is a term to mean human-like. Of course, it's just off the top of my head. I'm certain I'm missing up the actual translation of this. Anthropomorphic or anthro for short is what we refer to for characters that are able to speak, walk, speak on hind legs, and or wear clothes like a human. Anthro characters are like from the movie Zootopia. I mean, we don't honestly expect to see a fox walking around on their hind paws, naturally anyway. On the opposite scale of that is feral or animalistic characters. Feral characters are more animal-like, still have some anthro qualities like the ability to speak or wear clothes, more like pet clothes really, but do not typically walk on hind legs. Characters like these are represented in the movie Lion King. Furries typically have something called a fursona. Personas are slang for furry persona. Slam together. In fact, a lot of our slang is just us replacing a part of the word with fur. Examples are every fur. Lend me your ears and paws. Another would be possum. You don't know what that is abbreviated from? I pity you. Not all furs are actually represented by the uh, mammalian and or furry. Bleh. Mammalian or animal covered with fur or character. Some, like me, have reptilian character and are called scaly a subset of the furry community, which in my opinion includes dragons or durgans, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Yes, I'm calling you out, dragon. You are scaly. No denying it. I don't care if you have that fur. All right, you are scaly. Other the words might include stuff like snout or snoot. The snout of the fursuit head. Maw. Chompers or teeth. The mouth of the suit. Feet. Paws for your feet. And paws, that one's explanatory. Beans. And these are the little paw pads in your uh, paw. Both feet and hand paws might have beans. Beans can also be used to describe something cute or a younger fur. While we're on age topic, cub. Cub is to refer to anyone under the age of adulthood. Uh, like a kid who's 11 years old at the local meet. On the opposite end of that spectrum is gray muzzle. Gray muzzles are referred to older furs. Typically anyone above the age of 30 or has a, been in the fandom for 10 plus years are referred to as gray muggles as they've been around the fandom for a long time. I normally serve this for anyone above, but that's just me. Other parts of the fursuit include the bappers or ears. I personally think they call bappers because if you turn your head around hard enough, you can bap someone in the face with it. Plantigrade and digitigrade. Or digigrade if you prefer. Plantigrade refers both are styles of legs of the fursuit. Plantigrade is 
like pants on that we would wear normally. And ditch the grade is for a more animalistic look where they build up the curves of the suit with foam. Floof. Excess fur on the fursuit. And this is the to be normally on the neck, cheeks, ears, anywhere that there would normally be extra fur. Some furs have only a little bit of fluff, floof, and others have all the floof. Boop. The, the action of bapping somebody on the nose. We just call it a boop. Scritch. Or scratch. If you prefer. Always ask a suitor before you give them a scritch. Or a boop, really. Even then, be care be gentle with it. And like how you would teach a kid not to uh, go full force when petting a dog. As that can actually damage the head if you do it too hard. Headless lounge. It's where we go to desuit but while you know, we're overheating, really. Fursuit is the costumes we wear. I should have covered that one earlier. Oh well. Breaking the magic. Breaking the magic refers to when you are in costume and have to take off a paw or your head and fly out on the floor or in a public space. As this breaks magic that you are the character. Poodling. Pulling is a term for when you go only wearing partial of your suit or intentionally showing skin like this. Named after the poodle for obvious reasons. Hey, do you have a poodle sauna? Go on, poodle all you want. Otherwise, try to wear a long sleeve if possible to help keep from breaking the magic. Otherwise, you do you. If you have any medical reasons, you do you, man. Fur meets. Fur meets is a term for furry meat, aka groupings where local furs will gather. This could be anywhere from a small gathering of three to a couple hundred. And I have not attended one of those where it's still classified as a meat and not a con. Speaking of fur cons. Yes, people, we do have our own conventions. Fur cons are short for furry convention. If you can tell from what I just said. It's a great place to go and meet furs from around the world. I personally attended Midwest Fur Fest, or MFF, just last year. And there we had over, over 50 countries represented in attendance. So yeah, we got furs all over the world, people. You're not alone out there. In case you can tell by my channel. Speaking of, how did you get to my channel? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked what you saw and want more, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications when my next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. Especially for any words that I might have missed. Remember, family friendly. Family friendly only. I see you typing that word. No, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Otherwise, I hope to see you all next time. Johnny. Hi, Turtle Squad. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked what you saw, I got another video I think you will love to watch up on screen now. So, click on it if you want to see more. Or click on my icon if you want to check out more videos of your choosing. Until next time, Johnny.